Yeah. Go ahead. Hey Des, um, obviously, you know, coming in this year, new defensive coordinator, Jeff Collins, just what stood out to you so far about, obviously, you know, first of all, his energy, and then also just kind of the way he wants you all to display defense this year. I, I can definitely say his energy, his uh, personality stood out to me. We needed somebody that was, that we can relate to in a way, and somebody that's uh, more modern, more used to with the, the game of football right now. You know, we don't really need nobody that's, all right, guys, we're going to go out there and uh, do our best try, you know what I'm saying? But we need somebody that's going to give us that encouraging motivation and speech and stuff like that. So, yeah. Is it the energy he brings? I'm it's, sorry. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely the energy that he brings. Yeah. That's twice in two days. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, like, does it does the defense feel more aggressive? I know that was a point of emphasis for him. Like, do you feel like you guys are able to play more aggressively now that you've been We can play freely. And, and, and that's what I really wanted to come to this university. And I'm stepping to my, myself right now, so. What's it been like when he jumps on guys? <laughs> I mean, some of the young guys probably aren't used to be getting. I mean, it's like a, it's like a man to man thing. It's, it's you you know you did something wrong and he's he gonna tell you to fix it mm -hmm. the first time. And you know if you mess up again, he can get you done. But he's good about building you back up. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it in practice the other day. Yeah. Daz, when the season ended uh, last year, what? How close were you to to not coming back? And mm -hmm. what? were your thoughts and sort of considerations that you weighed that ended up bringing you back here? <laughs> I can definitely say, like, I already know who the player I am and the player I could be. And I just wanted to come back, develop myself, and uh, give myself another chance, you know, go to the league, higher draft pick. So, yeah, I just wanted to work on some things. Did you get any draft feedback? Is that I, I did, actually. I did. Yeah. Can yeah. you tell us about that? Yeah, they, was gonna, they, they told me I was going to be either, like, late third round, yeah, uh, early second round a little bit, so yeah. Okay, all right. So the mission is first round? The mission is first round. How, and, and with Cayman out, we've been told this week that you're getting a little bit of work at Rush. You and Bo are kind of moving back there. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of remind you of the hybrid days early on? Yes. yes. How much more prepared are you to handle the, the, the range of that job now than you were a couple of years I'm, ago? I'm glad you asked me that question, man, because, like, um, I'm a firm believer in everything happened for a reason. And uh, my first two years dropping coverage and I really didn't know nothing about it, that helps me for what's going on right now. And I'm grateful of what happened uh, my first two years. You know, we, it wasn't a season that we expected, but it helped me out for right now. So, yeah. And how much does it help that Bo has elevated to the point where he can be at end, you can be back there at Rush, and there's not much of a drop off because the two of you are fairly comparable in a lot of ways? Just like you said, it helps a lot, man. Like, we can, ro we can rotate uh, me, came in, and, and, and um, Bo at Rush and in, or we can all be on the field at the same time. And we really crossed him right now, too, so, so we can all be on the field at the same time. It helps a lot. Des, you hated that, though, didn't you? Dropping in coverage the first couple of years. I mean, you did you did not like that. It's not more so I didn't like it. It's, uh, I wasn't comfortable at the time. And now I know the hands that I would cover, so I'm used to it now. And now you can see sort of what you're going to be asked to do in the future mm -hmm. professionally, right? Right. Yes. right. Yes. That's an interesting track that you've been through mm -hmm. coming in. And I remember when, after Jay left, you were pretty excited about putting your hand on the ground again. Yep. Right. Yep. So you've gone from that to putting your hand on the ground to now kind of doing both. Can, can you kind of, it's not a straight line to getting to where you are. How jagged is the line getting to this point? It's the path, man. It's the journey. It's the journey. <laughs> you, really, you, you really can't be mad about the journey. It's just, you just got to be prepared and ready for it. So I'm, I'm happy now. I treat practice like recess. So. <laughs> recess? I, yeah. I treat it like recess. Right. I treat it like recess. The marathon continues. Yeah. They say. There's a, how's it been with you know learning from Ted Monacino? Obviously, he's a you know NFL guy, NFL coach type it's deal. What's it kind of been like you know learning from him now that he's you know over that defensive line? Being here for four years, going over five, you really understand of what it means to uh, have character, have a standard, and people that's dialed in. And and Coach Ted Monacino is that type of person. He's going. He gonna shoot you straight. He's gonna tell you what what you did wrong and what you did and, and what you did right. So and, and that's what we need. Though. We don't need nobody that's gonna come in the meeting room, talk for like forty five minutes, and really don't watch no film. You know, we need somebody that's gonna be on be on us, be on our back, uh, tell us what we did wrong, and, and we're gonna fix it. And it's up to us who's gonna fix it. He did he did his job already, bringing it to light, and we gotta go out there and fix it. So yeah. Are there any guys that he's pulled up on film, you know, from either the NFL or whatever, to, to kind of show you guys to, you know, for you guys to emulate or anything? He, uh, he brought up Sweat. He brought up um, Chris Jones. 
and uh, Kobe on guys. I really can't think about it right now, but mm -hmm. he, he brought some guys, some dudes out there in the league. Is how, in terms of Monakino, how is he different? Last year, obviously, he was in the analyst role where you know, I guess he could take notes and sort of play the background a little bit, but now, obviously, he's your position coach. Like, mm -hmm. how has he changed going from that analyst role to, to the position coach now? Like, what are the differences? He was more quiet with him last year, and, and that was because of his job. You know, he, yeah. he wasn't a head man, but um, right now, he's more hands-on. You know, you, you can meet with him. You can meet with him before, but it's more like, okay, well, for example, um, meeting yesterday, uh, one of our teammates didn't have a good practice, right? So he made a full clip for him of what the, like, the reps that was on. He did bad and show everybody so we can all learn from his mistakes and for him to fix it as well. So that's what kind of coach, coach that is. Yeah, so he turned that into kind of teaching. Uh, He's going to teach the whole, the whole group. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. gotcha. Go back to the energy with Coach Collins and having a little bit of a different kind of voice. How much does the approach, maybe the fact that you guys are going to be more aggressive, you're going to disguise and bring stuff from a variety of places, sort of energize the defense as well? Play free. Be happy doing it. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's just a good little rush. Going there, play football, in a way. Some of the guys we've heard about in the interior, like, uh, Rodney Laura, Joel, Joel Starlings. How are some of those guys coming along? Now they're getting a little bit more of an opportunity because you guys need a little bit more depth there. Yeah, uh, Joel, he, he made a quality leap, man. From last year to this year, I ain't gonna lie, like, people really didn't think he was gonna be able to play this season, but what he showed in the spring ball, he, he can really do it. We were talking to Jeff the other day. This might be the last one for Des. Yeah, when we were talking to Jeff the other day, he was saying, somebody asked him who the voice of the defense was, and he actually said power has become kind of the voice of the defense. Mm -hmm. How have you seen power become different in that way and, you know, kind of really take on that, that vocal uh, role? Power always been loud, man. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a linebacker. All linebackers kind of loud in the way. Uh, he just plays fast, feels good, and uh, he handled his job off the field and on the field. So that's how, that's how you get your job. How different is he kind of from, from saving that way from the leadership standpoint? Mm. Uh, they're kind of similar, though. Oh. They're kind of similar. He's not, he not as loud as said, though, but kind of similar, though. You yeah, see, he can be a little quiet with us. Yeah, you know little, what I mean? Yeah, he, a little quiet. He, the, he, the it's, not, short. it's not quiet. It's more so like uh, he making sure he's saying everything in, like, in a calm way. Like, you know, like make sure everything is put it out in a proper way. So that just comes to his mind, you know? I got you. Yeah. Not All screaming right. his head off or anything. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Very guys. nice.